Salute to all my people. Y'all can like button if you haven't already. We're going to talk about Tommy. Listen, bro. I counted it. In the last seven, eight days, this man has made six live streams about one man. Stay with me. This man has logged in over 20 hours in the last seven days about one man. <laughs> A work week in America is 40 hours. Anything after that is overtime. This man is over 20 hours in a week. I don't care how much money you make. I don't, I don't care. Tommy can be a millionaire. But let's, let's, let's just talk real shit. Let's, let's talk real grown man conversation. 20 hours about one man in a week. Over 20 hours. And most in America, you know, if you work 40 hours, they make that a work week. And think after 40 hours is mostly overtime. You mean to tell me... He's worked over. He's worked a part-time job. <laughs> if 40 hours is a full-time job, part-time job is 20 hours plus. He's over 20 hours. This man has worked a part-time job talking about one man. Now, he may have, this is real, he may have all the greatest ideology ever created on the man. He may be, he may be um, the king of logic. He may be everything he say he is. But 20 hours. Listen, bro. I have never seen, bro. When I came to YouTube, you see some of the most weirdest, like some of the most weirdest individuals you will ever see knowing a man. They will be content creators on YouTube, right? It's no way you, you can't compare. That's why I, I'm able to separate the two, right? I'm able to separate real life and YouTube. Because, like, I thought when I came to YouTube, I thought you would see me and well, I don't care what your message is. I don't care how great of a message he may have. I don't care how great his logic may be. Nothing in this world make me want to talk about one man every day. Like, six, listen, six live streams out of seven days, seven, eight days, you know what I mean? Six live streams, four hours, three hours, five hours, over 20-something hours about one man. Bro, to all the kids that's watching, to everybody that have a love for content creators, to everybody that have a love for dudes that, you know, making great money, dudes, I don't care what it is, he can be the most successful man ever created. He can be uh, the greatest leader ever known to man. Tommy can have the greatest perspective. He can have everything. But what grown man, like, what grown man want to talk about another man that long? I, I don't want to sit and watch no man that much. I mean, that's a little LGBT. That's a little little Nas X to me. To sit and watch a man so much that I can, when I'm done watching him, I can go back and I can talk for three hours about that. I mean, now. this ain't about who's right. It ain't about who wrong. We have to ask ourselves: Do money run us that much? Do donations run us that much? Do clout? Do do views? Do do all these things run us that much that we want to sit around and talk about one person for? Three hours a day, five hours a day, six six live streams out of eight days. I'm talking about one man to do money and money and notoriety and clout and whatever. I'm just talking anybody now. Do what what drives you in your life? I, I don't care how much money you make to do what you do. Like, are you that passionate about it that you want to talk about one person that long? Someone said you're working a part-time job to talk about one man. You know, I know in a lot of people's eyes, Kwame created a go-along, get-along game. Stay with me. He created a go-along, get-along game. And then for the most part, when I sit back and I idolize things or I look at stuff, I can see how y'all feel like that. You know, I can see how y'all look at situations and say, they ride for him right or wrong. To me, I call it loyalty. You know, I don't know... You know, I, I, I can't tell nobody how to feel, but if I feel as though you're right in some regard and I feel as though we have a level of relation or we have a, a level of understanding, if I feel as though you're wrong, I hit you up and tell you you're wrong, bro. Just because everything ain't publicized, because everything ain't, uh, ain't on full display, you know, if I had a direct line to anybody and I felt as though they was wrong, I would say, hey, bro, I don't know. Nah. But that's the way brothers handle it. Because in one aspect, y'all would say a man is less of a man if he had a direct line to him. And he didn't call him. He wouldn't make he wouldn't make content. So he a clout chaser. If you had a direct line to anybody, let's say you. If you have a direct line to anybody, right? And you can call them and say, let, let, hypothetically, you can call them and you can say, "Hey, bro, you wrong in that regard." But it never make it to content. It never make it to the screen, right? 
But because it didn't make it here, it mean it, you know, you never called him out on his mess. It mean it because you wasn't able to see it, you know, he'll go along, get along game. I'm, I'm just hypothetically speaking, right? The loyalty in you, if you see something right with a man, and let's say that you don't have his line. But you, you can make content and let them know, bro, I see what you're saying right there, bro. Now, I, I, I'm going to echo that message. You know what I'm saying? So you make content, but to everybody else, that makes you a go-along, get-along game because you supported somebody Amen. nothing to you but show you respect. Let's just, them all hypotheticals. Them, those, those are not reality. But I'm just saying, would that make him whatever? Because you, was, you wasn't able to see him critiquing a man. You know, you, you want to see the messiness. So much in our community, they want to see so many, they want to see the back and forth so much that it's like, y'all been cool too long. Y'all got to say something. You, you ain't going to say nothing to him? You know, the loyalty in our community is no longer. You see YWN Melly, a killer's homeboys. You know, guys that he mentioned on songs, allegedly, he'll take their life. In our community, so many people or destroy the person that had them when nobody else did. You know, they say, you know, no matter how many times you say yeah, the one time you say no, they act as though you never said yeah before, right? When I say that, no matter how many times you say yeah, in our community, they wait for that one time for you to say no so they can go to their receipts. Like, like some of these content creators, they can go to their receipts, they can go to everything they've been wanting to bash you about. You know, always watch the people that say jabs at you in a joking form and say I was joking. Stay with me. The ones that say, you know, they like to say, they, they throw jabs at you, they say jokes at you, but they, but they, but they, oh, I was just joking about that. No, no, you really feel like that. So to get back to loyalty, it's no loyalty in our community. People will turn on you for clout. They will turn on you for clicks, like views, and shares. Though I may disagree, I disagree with a lot of things. And a lot of videos going to start coming your way about what I disagree with. But understand, for the people that follow this page, if it rub you wrong, it, no, I mean no disrespect. You know, I don't agree with I mean, listen, Gilbert Arenas, call me Brown, Gilbert Arenas, call me Brown, Gilbert Arenas, call me Brown, Tommy, call me, call me, call me, call me, that's every day. So much so they wanted to pick everybody, they wanted to pick it every day because now the page has became a person, it's a platform into which where, in my opinion, Kwame platform has became something that everybody know. If I say something bad about him, I give views. It make it hard for the people that really want to stand with him to say something because they say, well, I get more views if I go against him. In these blurred lines and his and, and his and his YouTube crazy realm of living, people care about views, bro. So it mean more to him that if you hot, I ride with you. If I feel as though you not, I dish you. You know, everybody for self. Everybody in our community is for self. Everybody in our neighborhood for self. That's why you can't. Hey, you got some sugar I can borrow? You mean y'all remember when we was young? Hey, can I use your, y'all got some ketchup? You know, because they felt like the village, the neighborhood was the village. You know, nowadays, the neighbors is fucking each other men. You know, the, the, the neighbor, this, he, looking at, he looking at that man's wife when she come out like, God, boy, she got ass. You know, ain't no village no more. That's why everything is destruction. That's why when the kids look at us, when the kids look at the fathers, when the kids look at the big brothers, when the kids look at the, the guys that's popular in the neighborhood, they doing everything wrong. The niggas that's popping in the neighborhood selling dope. So what you think that young homie gonna do when he look at somebody that's older than him and he say, everybody love him? What is he doing to get that love? Oh, he's selling dope. So what you think he gonna do? He gonna sell dope. But if you had the young guys and they able to step outside their communities and look at guys that even when they cut on YouTube, they build amongst one another. Even if they ain't building, they not spending 20 hours or over 20 hours working a part-time job to talk about one man. Let that sink in, bro. Each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we can continue to go together. I don't got nothing else to say, bro. I just want to, I just wanted to, I want to let y'all know. Not, I know Tommy people gonna come and I respect that. But but when y'all really sit back and y'all just remove his logic, if y'all just remove Kwame's bus life, if y'all just remove Gilbert's whatever, whatever, I don't even know how Gilbert got so deep into YouTube. But I get it. You know, Kwame's a name. If you go at it, you see guys that's nobody, they views is going up. You talking about guys that have very little following. But when they mention a certain name, the views go up. When your name become the clown, you know, everybody want to crack at the clown. Everybody want to crack at the top, even if they say your numbers is low. You know, if the numbers is low, if a person is a nobody, then why is everybody talking about that nobody? I'll never understand it. Each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we continue to go together. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about all these hours.